Hey you guys, it is Fluffy Girl Jess. So today's video is going to be a little different for me. I don't usually do this kind of video. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to show you guys today, I found at Hot Topic and it's super, super awesome. It's right here and I can't wait to get it open. I found, are you guys ready? A Crave Japan box. Look, look, look. It's like a little Godzilla, adorable, Crave Japan, right here, look, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Oh, look at this, it's so cute, look, this is a snack box, for those of you who don't know, filled with all kinds of yummy goodies from Japan, so, um, yeah, let's get this open. We're going to see how this goes. <sighs> I might not be able to wade through it all because um, it says 15 to 18 snacks. <sighs> and I have my scissors right here so I can cut this sucker open. There we go. It's open. Put those back up there. It says... Satisfy your craving. Look at the box. This is so cute. Look, this is just. Look at this. Ooh, look at all the goodies. Okay, this is pretty cool. Okay, here we go. This is the little, like, pamphlet of I. I'm assuming what's in the box. Right here. Boom. boom. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen goodies in this big box. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, okay. First thing is, okay, we're just going to start pulling out snacks. And then I'll try to figure out what they are, and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. I'm just not even going to look. I'm just going to pull one out, and we're going to go. Because I can't make up my mind. So, here we go. The first one is... Seven Sticks. And this is... Milk Cream Crunchy wafer roll with scrumptious milk cream filling. So, um, yeah, here we go. And that's what it looks like. We'll see. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, these look delicious. I'm not going to. Oh, they smell good. Oh, it's a little broken, but that's okay. And look, it has, it's like really wafery. Because it's a wafer cookie, so it looks wafery, yeah. And it has like a cream filling. Not gonna lie, not mad at it. Pretty basic, but pretty delicious. Yeah, that's that's good. Um, what is this? I think this is a DIY candy. Right here. I'm not going to do that right now. It is... No idea. I have no idea what this is. We'll come back to that. So then let's go to... Um, okay, it is, uh, Matsunaga, and it's these cute little animal cookies. Um, it says, like American animal crackers, but with way happier animals. Okay. Woo! It comes in this little bag. 
we're gonna try one of these little animal cookies <gasps> these are cute kind of these are kind of cute it's supposed to have like a stamped animal is that a koala I like these they're not like I like these a lot they're super crispy there's another one you can kind of see the animal on it mm hmm those are my favorites so far they're like a little sweet but not like crazy sweet and they're very like buttery and crunchy they're delicious okay i'm gonna just pick one um the next one is this it's a coco coco bis I, I, I don't know this one is yummy japanese biscuits with a soothing coffee flavor okay i'm not much of a coffee drinker i like my green tea lattes from starbucks that's my vice of choice but um, I have been known to drink coffee every now and then. Okay, it's supposed to have like a coffee flavor. Is that right? I don't know. It doesn't smell very coffee-y. Well, maybe a little. I'm getting a little whiff. Here, have a whiff. Do you smell? Smell. Okay. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, these are a little broken, but that's okay kind of look like that okay I really don't get like a huge like coffee burst it's really really mild but the they're like biscuit cookies and they're really flaky and buttery Pretty delicious. Yeah, those are pretty good. These are still my favorite, though. The animal crackers. Those are still my favorite. Let's go with this. It is mogu mo moguchu moguchu. There we go. I didn't pronounce that right at all. I just know it. So this is chewy gummy candy like airheads but thicker okay I love me some high chews so here we go I don't know what flavor they are what flavor is this uh no clue mystery flavor that's okay oh it's cold flavor I can smell it they look like high chews Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those are delicious. I like these a lot. But like I said, I really like high chews, so... They're really chewy. <laughs> Those were super good. I like those. Okay, let's go on to something else. These are peach flavored somethings. This is peach gummies, peach flavored gummies with a creepy looking mascot. Mm. Do they look creepy to you guys? I don't know. Looks a little strange, but whatever. So we're going to open these. Peach flavored gummies. I like some. I like gummies too. So let's open these really quick. Okay, let me see. Okay, they just look like that. Ooh, they smell so good. 
Mm -hmm. Yep, I like those. So far, those are number three. First is the animal crackers, then it's the cola chewies, and it was now it's the peach gummies. So that's like, you know, one, two, three. Those are my favorites so far. We have this soda. It is Sangria Orange Soda. Refreshing Japanese Orange Soda from the Wakayama Prefecture. Like that. And it's hot, but um, I drink soda hot, so yeah, I'm one of those weirdos. I'm glad it's a little can because it's really late at night and I really don't need all that sugar. Okay. Oh, it smells like fresh squeezed orange juice. Not like, you know, not like fake orange soda. Like, you know, it smells like fresh squeezed orange juice. It smells good. Not too bad. I like this a lot. It's not really heavily sweet like some of the sodas here. Um, this is good. It tastes like like clementines and that are fizzy. That's what it tastes like. Okay, let me set that right there so I don't knock it over. That's super delicious. I've had a mango cream soda before from my little Korean market before. I got a can and that was super sweet and I had a sugar buzz going for about half a day. Um, but it was really good. So, but I really like that. It's really light and refreshing. Next one is these Noir Black Cocoa. And these are um, mini Japanese Oreos. Can you tell the difference? I do like Oreos, but I need them with milk, but I don't have any right here, right now. So here are the mini Japanese Oreos. They smell like Oreos. Yep, they smell like Oreos. can't taste a difference. I mean those taste like yeah those taste like Oreos. Maybe maybe not as sweet maybe but those taste like Oreos. Okay hold on a minute. I gotta <sighs> that's better. We have these. It is monster stamp candy. Lick the bottom and these cola candies can turn into stamps. Okay. I'm going to disappoint you guys. I'm not going to open these right now. Because there's so much more in this box. But they're cola candies that you lick the bottom of. And then you can stamp them. So, I'm not going to open those right now. Okay, the next thing I have is... Choco chips. These are little mini cookies. And it is thin baked chocolate chip cookies for any occasion. Okay, I don't think I'm going to open these right now either because um, they're chocolate chip cookies, you guys. Who hasn't had a chocolate chip cookie? So, anyway, so I'm not going to open those because they're chocolate chip cookies. I just want to try things that I've never tried before and I've had chocolate chip cookies anyway so the next thing I have is okay let's just try this I don't know what it is but it looks chocolatey and I love me some chocolate just saying this is this is Yuraku Black Thunder Chocolate, a chocolate-covered wafer cookie bar full of rich cocoa flavor. It might be a little melty because it's hot down here, you guys. And it was in my car for a hot minute. 
and yeah it's kind of it's kind of uh, melty well it's not melty anymore but it was melty so it's not quite as pretty as probably when it was packaged yeah <laughs> so yeah it kind of it kind of got melty you guys but it's all good Mm-hmm. Not mad at this either. Nope. That's good chocolate. That's good chocolate. Yep. That's super delicious. Super delicious. Ooh. I also got a card, and it is a coupon for... Uh, my next box if I order from Crave Japan. Um, the next ones are potato chips. Who hasn't had potato chips before? Okay. These are Yokin salt flavored potato chips. Crispy potato chips endorsed by a tiny Native American. Okay. Yeah, it kind of looks like uh, an American Indian on the front. Whatever. It smells like potato chips. Potato chips. Those are actually pretty good. They're more potatoey tasting than regular potato chips here. I know you're like just your nuts, but trust me, those are a little different. Those are a little different. I have had some from uh, like from my little Korean market that I go to sometimes. They were like honey butter flavor. Oh my god, those were awesome. So if you ever see that flavor, try them. Leave a bag for me, but try them. Just saying. The next thing I guess is these. Choco Flakes. It is corn flakes smothered in chocolate. Dreams do come true. I promise. That's what it says right there. Okay, so... Um, I'm not going to open these either because um, I've had something kind of like it before. And, it sound, and it's like really tiny pieces in there. I can feel it. So, we're not going to open up the chocolate-covered cornflakes because, yeah, I've had something like that before. So, anyway. Okay, the next thing I have is these. I've had something similar to this before. I can... Uh, but the ones that I had were, like, honey apple flavor. Those were amazing, just saying. And they're super crunchy. These are... These are... Uh, Kari Kari Caramel Twists. Addictive Caramel Twists that will leave you wanting more. Probably. Caramel... Something. Oh, Snapdragon. Oh my god. Okay, these smell wonderful. I'm just going to say that. Oh. They smell, oh, they smell so good. Okay, that's what they look like. Mmm. They're very crunchy. Mmm. Ooh. These are like I'm not sure I need it. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we'll do favorites in a minute, but those just moved to pretty much the top of the list. 
Those were awesome. And they're super crunchy. They kind of taste like, I don't want to say caramel popcorn because that's not what they taste like. But it is caramelly. And it's like super crunchy. It's really good. It's like if corn pops were coated in caramel. That's kind of what it tastes like. But like massively crunchier. I love crunchy stuff. Those were delicious. Okay. This is a DIY candy kit that we've been through already. I'm not going to do it. It says... Uh, Okashina Mizu Ame DIY. A different flavor with every combination. Can you figure out which mixtures turn into what flavors? Time to experiment. It is not time to experiment at this time. Because it's late. And I don't feel like I don't feel like messing with any more candy. Um, okay. So we have two more things in this box. We have these, which I just opened without showing you because yeah, that's that's just how I roll. These right here. Cookies. See them? Green tea cookies. They are Furuta Matcha Sandwich Cookies. Delicious wafers filled with matcha green tea cream. Best, best paired with some tea, coffee, or even hot chocolate. Mm, cozy. That's what it says. Okay. I'm going to eat one. I really want those caramel things again. Okay, I like matcha, so I know I'm going to like them. So, because I like the green tea Kit Kats. Have you ever had those? Those are awesome. Okay. Ooh, these are kind of little. Thank goodness. Okay. Oh, it smells very green tea-y. Is that a word? Well, it is now. That's what they look like. Right here. Look, we'll do a little twist. Aha! green tea cream on the inside man these smell good I stuck the whole cookie in my mouth. And I probably shouldn't have. That was... That was a lot of cookie going on. Oh, well. Okay. Ooh. Now we have an empty box. Last thing. Melon soda. This is... Dynamite Melon Soda. A crazy melon jelly drink with an explosive taste. Kaboom. This kind of scares me. I like melon stuff. It's so yummy. But um, the whole explosive melon, it, it might be too much for me to handle. Oh, this is kind of cool. How do I operate this? Okay, it looks like this. Okay, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just going to go with like this. And then I'm going to twist it off like this. Then probably get it everywhere. And gosh dang it, where's my scissors? <sighs> I need to, here they are. Okay, hold on a minute. I'm probably going to get this everywhere. Hold on. That's kind of cool. It's not... 
it's like drinking melon flavored jello that hasn't set yet you know where it's kind of thick but it's still kind of runny yeah it, that's that's kind of cool yeah otherwise yeah other than okay but anyway that's what it looks like i took off the little straw end because um yeah i still made a mess but whatever okay so let's go back to what i liked the best these moved up to number one these were the caramel crunchy things those were awesome uh, number two, all my favorites was the animal cookies. Those were super yummy. Um, number three, still the cola flavored chews. Oh, I'm just throwing stuff around. Those were good. Uh, number four was the peach gummies. Number five was the orange soda. Number six was the melon soda. That's what I liked. Those were, those were yummy. Mmm. Seven was this. The chocolate, whatever, wafer cookie. That was good. Um. What was that? I don't remember. Next was these. The little, like, um, coffee flavored, um, biscuits. Those were good. Um, next was... Mm, next was probably these. These were good. It was. They were all good. They were all good. I, I liked them all, but... Uh, but, you know, I've had green tea stuff before, so... Next was these. They're little Oreos. Um, and then these... Those are just kind of a basic wafer cookie. They were good. Um, next was these. I didn't try them. But those were the chocolate covered cornflakes. The DIY candy. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna rate because I didn't even try it. So um, probably these were next. They're just regular chocolate chip cookies. Um, didn't try those. Those were the stamp candies. I just didn't feel like putting up with a mess. And then the potato chips. They're just potato chips. Plain old potato chips. I wish it would have had like a flavor or something, you know, a different flavor. That would have been pretty cool. Um, overall, this box was pretty cool. So um, if you like it, go check it out. It was at Hot Topic. You try some interesting stuff, you guys. I mean, yeah. it's pretty awesome. So that is it for my Crave Japan box. Uh, yeah, it was delicious. Now I have a bunch of open stuff. I'll probably take it to work with me and and share, except for the caramel things because those are mine. Okay, you guys. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.